What's going on, little dap? It's Jared Muntz, former pro and founder of OnlineSoccerAcademy.com. We help players improve. Subscribe to our free OSA e-newsletter to receive training videos, player spotlights, motivational quotes, and more delivered to your email on Tuesdays. Today, we're learning how to play center back. This is the central defender on the back line. Usually, your central defenders are very strong, fast, and tall at the pro level. The best central defenders are smart with the ball, great passers, and read the game well. They position themselves to be in the right spot at the right time to win the ball. You do not need to be tall to play this position, but of course, it helps. This OSA video is sponsored by Believe In It Apparel. Wear a soft and comfy Believe In It shirt to keep you pumped while you train. Shop at BelieveInItApparel.com and be a Believe In It athlete. There are many different parts to playing center back. This video will cover a few ideas, general thoughts on the position, and an exercise to practice. First, the role of a center back. In my opinion, a good center back should be a great leader, a good ball distributor, and they should be able to read the game well so they can anticipate plays right before they happen. A center back mantra could be, I organize my defense, put myself in the right position to win the ball, and pass simply out of the back. Tip number one. Your job as center back is to not be the playmaker. When you get the ball, make a simple pass to one of your open teammates. On the screen here, you will see a few simple passing options. One is your center mid. They are your playmaker, so get them the ball when you can. Two, your outside wing. Three, your fullback. Four, your keeper. Five, a chip pass into the forward. Yes, there are more options, but these are usually your most simple options. Tip number two. Be accurate with your headers and passing out of the back. Keep it simple and look for your first pass. Take pride in completing your passes. Even your headers. Don't just head the ball forward. Think of it like a pass to a teammate, not just a clearance. Matt Beisler of the U.S. Men's National Team is good at this. Yes, sometimes it's not on to pass for a header. In that case, just head the ball forward up the field like a clearance and hope that one of your teammates wins the second ball. Tip number three. Position yourself and read the game well. If you see a ball is about to be played over the top behind your right fullback, your right back is about to get beat for pace by their attacker, and there is no offside opportunity, then get the first break on the ball and run to where the ball is being kicked. As you run to the ball in the right back part of the field, shout at your right back to cover for you at center back until the play is over. Chelsea's John Terry is a great example of a center back that reads the game well. He puts himself in a good position to win the ball by being in the right spot at the right time. It's not luck, it's smarts. Tip number four, do not commit to half-field tackles too early. Typically, if an attacker is running at you around half-field, the smart thing to do is drop instead of stepping up and trying to win the tackle in open field. This OSA video explains more and why. Watch it. Also watch our defending videos here. Center backs need to be great at defending. Tip number five, organize your back line. Tell them to step up, drop, shift left, shift right. A simple trick to help see if everyone is in line is put your arms out to your side. If you do that and you see your right back is behind the line five yards, shout at them, step up and move your arm forward. Tip number six, win your aerial battles. This is your 50-50 headers. Here is an OSA video that will teach you how to win headers. Tip number seven, stand with your body open to the field. What I mean is, if your fullback has the ball, don't stand like this. Why not? Because now you can't see what's behind you and your body is positioned to take a touch back in the direction the ball came. Instead, stand like this, with your body open to the field. This way you can see the ball, what's up the field, and also your body is positioned to take a positive touch. It also applies for when the goalie has the ball. Do not stand like this, stand like this. Tip number eight. When in doubt, kick it out. If you're in a situation where it's tight, attackers are all around you, and you don't have a good clean passing option, then don't try to make a pass. Just kick it out. Kick it out for a throw in, a corner kick, or clear it up the field and allow your team time to regroup. Better to be safe in this situation versus trying to pass out of the back when it's not on. If you lose the ball here, your mistake may lead to a goal. An exercise we can do to practice. 
we're going to work on directional heading. In the how to play fullback and how to play defensive center mid videos, we did passing exercises on the ground. Watch those videos here and here, and you can make up a similar exercise for a center back. For directional heading, you'll need a partner, a few balls, and four cones. Your partner has the ball in their hands. They do a two-hand, underhanded toss to you as the center back. You then head the ball to option one, two, or three, which are cones we have set up. These represent your teammates. Do a few sets and then switch with your partner. Start easy without having the center back jump. Then do it where on the toss they have to jump and head the ball. After a few sets of them jumping, do it where you chip past them the ball with your feet from distance. Some things that could be going wrong. If you keep losing the ball and making bad passes, stop trying to be a playmaker. Just make a simple pass to your teammate. Bonus tip, just because you have 30 yards of space ahead of you as a center back does not mean you have to dribble. Sometimes, yes, dribble, but for the most part, make a pass and keep the ball moving. Hope you enjoyed this online soccer academy training video. Like and share this video with a friend who you think should see it, and don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. You can also sign up for free at OnlineSoccerAcademy.com. We help players improve. Our free weekly OSAE newsletter comes out every Tuesday featuring training videos, motivational quotes, player spotlights, and much more. If you want a Believe in It shirt, please shop at BelieveInItApparel.com. You'll love our soft and comfy shirts. Post a comment and let me know how this video worked for you. My name is Jared Muntz, and remember, if you believe in it and back that up with hard work, anything in life is possible. Believe in it!